It was 14 years ago when Steve Jobs unveiled the famous iPhone and said, Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them. Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. Now, capacitive touch has become the norm and the stylus was neglected by most tech parent companies, excluding the Samsung family. So I never did come to appreciate the existence of a stylus. Now, one reason for that could be because I never own one. And since now that I do, it's apparent to me that a stylus is a tablet's true best friend. Let's see why. First, I'm sure some of you are wondering, yes, I did not buy the keyboard case. Not just because it was eighth the price of this one. It was likely that the inseparable keyboard would have tilted my use for the Mi Pad to more of a laptop than a tablet. Plus, Xiaomi's keyboard case just seemed overpriced and lacked basic functionality like an adjustable hinge and backlighting. I came to much prefer this setup with a flip case, a stylus, and a wireless keyboard. So back to our main story. How is that Xiaomi stylus? Well, the design is quite reminiscent of the Apple Pencil, with circular edges except for the side where this pen sticks onto the tablet. And that pen sticks via magnets that I think could use a little more strength. It's easy to take off when you need it, but I don't know, I guess I could use a little more reassurance. As for the pen's body, it's got a nice weight and thickness to it in a matte finish that I kind of liked. But ultimately, the material does feel a bit cheap compared to the Apple Pencil. And the tip is similar to the Apple Pencil as well. The pencil-like tip allows for different shades when drawing, but it's shorter than the AP, so the drawing angle is limited and it's less responsive to boot. You really have to get the angle just right. But I must admit it was fun to casually doodle a thing or two. I don't think I've ever done that. Now note taking is often down to personal preference. Whether you like the pencil inspired AP or the ballpoint pen inspired S Pen. And it's unfortunate that both are superior to Xiaomi's version. To test the pen's performance, I downloaded the most mainstream stylus apps in the App Store and narrowed it down to these two. For palm rejection, I believe this is more dependent on the app integration than the stylus. But for the most part, palm rejection was poor enough that I always had to enable pen mode. Unfortunately, the pen's 4096 pressure sensitivity worked great, and it had no problem recognizing my pressure level. Uh, it should be noted that I tend to write with a rather firm grip, and yet, there were no scratches to be seen. But personally, I would add a screen protector to be extra safe. As for latency, this was where I felt the biggest difference in comparison to the iPad Pro and Galaxy Tab S7. The level of optimization just wasn't there. It's not unbearable to use. On the contrary, I've found drawing and note taking on the tablet to be pretty natural. And my handwriting transitioned well over to the tablet as it were on a regular paper and pen. I'm not sure if that's a good thing though. Uh, there is an ever so slight delay, but at this price point, I'm really just nitpicking here. The 240Hz stylus sampling rate certainly did make this a great note taking tablet. As for everyday use, it was fine, it acted as a sort of mouse for the tablet and I enjoyed its company. But the buttons were not customizable in any way, which was a real shame. And the long press to make it work was uncomfortable and I never came to really use it. I feel like I mentioned a lot more cons than pros in this video, mainly referring to the Xiaomi stylus as just an inferior version of the Apple Pencil and S Pen. But one, you can't use those pens on the Mi Pad. And two, I noticed something quite interesting with the Xiaomi stylus. Ever since I got it, using the Mi Pad 5 Pro became more enjoyable, and I wanted to use it more than I necessarily had to. I used it as a mouse to keep off fingerprints and click links more accurately. I drew the occasional doodle on a day out at the park. I took notes of a history lecture and a recipe for a dinner meal. These are just a few use cases that brought me to the conclusion that even with its flaws, I love having it around with me and I'd recommend any MePad user to buy it as well. That's it for this video. If it helped, a sub to the channel would be great, and I'll see you in the next one.